Local students will want to listen up to this. College Goal Sunday is back next Sunday at Ivy Tech. This is all in an effort to help students apply for financial aid. News 10's Portia Williams fills you in on what you need to know. Filling out the FAFSA can be a daunting task for many, but College Goal Sunday helps out students and their parents get the task done. Some students can't afford college on their own. That's why financial aid and other assistance comes in handy. West Vigo High School student Colton Higley says he plans to take full advantage of any assistance he can get. Yes, I live with my single mother. Uh, just her income we've always lived on. Um, absolutely, I'd be, I expect myself to work myself through school and applying for financial aid. College Goal Sunday is now in its 33rd year. This is a program that helps college-bound Hoosiers apply for financial aid. Julie Wonderland, the Director of Financial Aid at Ivy Tech, said she's glad this event is back on in person. We will be able to sit down and just answer any questions that you need. So it'll be um, people in labs will keep everybody socially distanced um, and have enough labs open so that we can help as many people as possible get their FAFSAs completed. The FAFSA must be filed by April 15th to be eligible for Indiana financial aid. Wonderland says it's best to take advantage of the assistance of College Goal Sunday because applying for financial aid can seem like a big task. The unknown and the fact that it requires tax information and if you're not a tax preparer yourself, just thinking the fact that you have to look at the information can be scary. Higley says the burden of paying for college is one less thing he'll have to stress about. Definitely think with financial aid, I would be able to delve completely into my studies instead of having to worry about every month's due. You will need to bring with you a copy of your completed IRS 1040 tax return, W-2 forms, and other 2020 income and benefits information. For a full list of requirements, just visit our website. That's WTHITV.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Portia Williams, News 10.